Hey guys, Andy Tran here with Interbark Outdoors. You know, it's not very often that a piece of technology really catches my eye and changes the way I do things here on the channel. But a few months ago, Optics Planet contacted me and sent me a really cool piece of equipment. Over the past few months, I've been testing it, taking it through different environments, uh, different applications, and over the course of the last few months, I really began to, uh, to really like this thing. It is the FLIR 1. The FLIR 1 is a device that hooks up to your iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S, and I do believe they're gonna be coming out with different models to match up different phones. But essentially what it does is it allows you to see infrared radiation, much like the Predator. So you can see heat instead of just visible light. The cool thing about that is that you can see a lot of different things that normally we wouldn't be able to see. And you can also use this as a tool for diagnosing things, uh, figuring out what appliances in your house are the most efficient, and uh, just all around having fun. Check it out. Aside from the iPhone itself, the package contains everything you need to start seeing thermal images. Putting the FLIR 1 together is really easy. The phone snaps into the primary case, and the case locks into the FLIR device, which does add just a little bit of bulk, but it's completely self-contained. Charging the FLIR 1 is done by a micro USB cord. Once the device is fully charged, the extra juice is pumped into your phone to charge it up. The case allows for all the functions of the phone to be used. So if you wanted to, you could leave the FLIR 1 on your iPhone device. It even has speaker cutouts so you can listen to your music. It also comes with an adapter to use with larger headphone jacks. To actually use a FLIR 1, you need to download the free application in the App Store. There's a couple different versions of the application, but the standard one allows you to see the images and also record photos and video. You can even record the location and the time that you took these images as well. The first time you open up the application, it'll go through a few directions, but I'm just going to sum them up pretty quickly here for you. To turn the unit on, flip down the switch. Once it starts blinking a green light, you're ready to go. When you first turn on the app, it's going to tell you to move the switch all the way to the down position, or the calibrate position, which takes approximately 3 seconds. You can also choose in the main screen what kind of imaging you'd like to see, from black and white, rainbow, and also hotspot. If you go into settings, you can turn on the spot meter. This will allow you to see the temperatures of objects without touching them. You can also turn on the camera's light, which allows the onboard camera to pick up line detail and overlay it onto your images. And you can also change the type of surfaces that you're recording as well, such as matte or glossy. While the thermal resolution of the FLIR camera isn't fantastic, combining that with the line detail of the visible light camera makes it so you can really see what you're looking at and puts the price point in reach for a lot of people. You can also see in total darkness. As you can see by my truck, you can see that the tires are warm, the exhaust is hot, and the engine is still hot as well. But for more practical applications, you can see what parts of your house and what parts of your rooms are a lot colder than the others, and analyze your home's efficiency. So that is the FLIR 1. Not only is this thing invaluable to have in the toolbox, but it's also a lot of fun in general as well. If you guys check out the description below, you'll see a link on where you can find this on Optics Planet. And also if you use the coupon code at Optics Planet, you can get a pretty good discount as well. If you guys have any comments or questions, please message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page and other social media. It really helps me know that these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye. While that's heating up, let's make ourselves a pair of tongs. Wring out your socks as much as you can, and also empty out your boots of any water, and invert them so that they drip out as much as possible.